Hello! Uh, thanks for tuning in to Thyroid Bye Bye. Um, today I'm going to go over some of the possible complications of having low thyroid and thyroid surgery. Um, most of these complications have pretty low chances, but I have kind of lousy luck with stuff like that, so I might get like all of them. Um, so these are some of the possible problems. Um, one of the main things that could be a complication from having big lumps in my thyroid is it could actually be cancer. Um, the chances of a lump in your thyroid being cancerous are about 5 to 10 percent. So it's not a big chance, but it's certainly not unheard of. So, once they take my thyroid out, they're going to have to take it away, cut it into little tiny pieces, and biopsy it. Which is kind of sad, because I kind of wanted to keep it. I mean, like, if I can't keep it in my neck, um, I kind of wanted to keep it in, like, a little jar full of formaldehyde, like, uh, on the shelf. Like a little petrified piggy fetus or something. But, I won't get to. They have to take it away. Um, as with any, um, major operation, I'm going to have to be asleep. So there's always a possibility of, like, death by anesthesia, which is only, like, 2%. I'm not really worried about that, because I've had general anesthesia before with no problems, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, when you get some or all of your thyroid taken out, you're, you don't have that gland anymore, so you won't be able to make the thyroid hormone. So I will have to be on synthetic thyroid hormone for the rest of my life. Um, luckily, they make synthetic thyroid hormone now. It used to be dissected, freeze-dried, piggy thyroid pieces, which is really nasty and I wouldn't take those anyway because I'm vegan. But anyway, um, so I will definitely be opting for the synthetic. Um, your thyroid has little pieces of it in the back of it that tell your body how much calcium to absorb. So um, I might need to have calcium supplements after that too. It depends on whether or not um, they have to take out that part and whether or not that part gets damaged during the surgery. Um, and there's also a possibility of vocal nerve damage because your thyroid is so close to your voice box um, they could accidentally nick, cut, or whatever the nerves that go to your voice box and tell your voice box to make you talk. So, but in general, the thyroid surgery is considered safe. Um, lots of people have it. And, but I'm gonna have a big, wicked pirate scar on my neck. I guess the scar is usually, the incision is usually like three to five inches long and it's like right in front of your neck, so. Hey there. Big scar. That's kind of cool. So, anyway. There's that. So, those are the possible complications of my surgery, and um, I won't know much more until after it happens. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Come back. Bye bye.